Peace, peace, fam. George making that shit again, man. I'm just sitting out here, man. Man, you know, in the city of Philadelphia, man. Fifth biggest city in America. Enjoying the, uh, the sun. You know, just sitting out here chilling, man. But I, I want to talk to the family today about uh, relationships. And the title of this video today is It Was Over Once the Relationship Was Expected. I'm going to say it again. It was all over once the relationship was expected. Um, for a lot of us, man, you know, on YouTube, I hear a lot of complaining. I hear a lot of people going back and forth. Um, I hear a lot of normalized dysfunction. I hear a lot of everything, right? And I want to say, you know, conversations I had with my children, my, my grown children. It's like a lot of us, man, a lot of us, when we... Uh, when we just when we just messing around, having sex, you know, just doing our thing, running wild, doing our thing, and there's no real expectations, we get along great. We get along super great. You know, when 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 we able to just, you know, come and go as we please. You know, I can come over, I can hit. You know what I mean? You know, uh, 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 when a club is shutting down, I can come through. You know, you know, uh, from a woman's aspect, when you need a couple dollars, you can call him. He come over, get you know, busted ass real good, and leave you a couple of hours, and he go about his way. You know what I mean? It's all good. It's all good when it's like, hold on a second, I got a wind blowing. It's all good when it's like that, right? But the minute, you know, things start getting a little serious, and you guys gotta be responsible for each other. You gotta be responsible for each other's emotions. You gotta be responsible. You gotta be responsible for uh, 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 other people's feelings outside of your own. Relationships go downhill because we're not trained as men and women in our communities to be in serious long-term relationships. We don't have a problem with having sex. We don't have a problem with having sex. We don't have a problem with showing off and, 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 and try, uh, uh, putting on the front of the best version of ourselves, which really is a lie. Because once we get together and we got we get together carrying so much baggage. Like I tell people all the time, when I've been married for all these years. I've been with my wife for 16, 17 years. People look at me like I'm crazy. Like, man, how did you do it? How did you do it? And I'm like, outside of us, it wasn't always good because we had a lot of problems. But outside of having sex, outside of the sex, we learn over time to be responsible for each other. Meaning, I had a responsibility to her. I had a responsibility to her and her emotions. I had a responsibility to, to cater to the things that she needs in order, for me to, in order for me to maintain a sustainable relationship. But she also had to have the same thing. Meaning, some of the baggages that we had coming into the relationship, I had to release and put down. I had, I had to put some weight down in order to pick her up and carry her. A lot of us either don't know or we're not willing to do those things in the relationship. All we care about is ourselves. All we care about is ourselves. That's all we care about. We, you know, we don't, we want to have sex, but we don't want the responsibility of having to care for the person that you actually having sex with. We don't want the responsibility to have to cater to that person. We don't have to, we don't want the responsibility to actually uh, die to some of the things that we used to doing in order to maintain a relationship. But we still want access to that person. This is why channels like Kevin Samuels and these, a lot of these other channels are so big because people is hearing things that they never heard, that, that they never paid attention to. They hear uh, accountability and responsibility. Me being in my marriage for so long taught me a lot about myself. It taught me a lot about accountability, me being accountable to myself and me now having to be accountable to some other people outside of me. Me actually creating a family and saying, looking at my son and saying, damn, I got I, I to gotta be responsible for this. That's a scary thing, man. I'm going to do a video on that, too. That's a scary thing. Being responsible for being responsible for things outside of things that you don't believe you can control. You know, being responsible for this woman, being responsible for the children that you create, uh, 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 having to be responsible as a man to make the right decisions that will bring about peace and prosperity in your family. 
having to just be a man and man up. See, it's easy to just jump from bed to bed to bed to bed to bed, to bed and just deal with different women, man, and come and go as you please. But when you decide to drop your anchor right here and stay, man, there's a lot of responsibility that come with that. When you a female and you just used to having, your, having it your way because you look good, because you've been the pick of the litter and all these men is choosing you and all these things, but now all of a sudden, you settling down with this one man and you got to cater to this man's ego, you got to serve this man, you got to have sex with this man when he wanted, you got to do things that you're not, that you may never been accustomed to doing because you want to maintain and keep your man. Most of y'all ain't willing to do that. That's why I titled this, the relationship was over once the commitment was expected. Because a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all out there are allergic to commitment. We so dysfunctional, we look at uh, uh, sex and all the other things before we even understand what a commitment is. Commitment is like kryptonite. Being committed, being committed to somebody, being responsible to somebody outside of your own is like kryptonite. You'll meet a man and have sex with a man and have his baby, but won't give a commitment. You'll get with a woman and and and. and shoot babies all over the goddamn place but won't give them a woman a commitment but then it'll be committed to get to paying child support on five and six kids for 18 years that's how dysfunctional we are as a people man. we do everything backwards man everything backwards man i, I always promoted marriage and family and, and 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 it's not looked at as something you know my channel is not that big because I promote marriage and family. Because people just don't want to hear that. Black people don't like being told the truth about themselves. Black people, we want to do what we want to do, but we, but but then we complain about the consequences. Because see, it's good today, but then you got to deal with tomorrow. You got to deal with tomorrow of being a single mom of three children with three baby fathers. You got to deal with the consequences of, of tomorrow of having five kids by multiple women and you mad now because your paycheck ain't what, ain't worth nothing because you want to slang and bang and run and gun with no, with, 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 with no, without understanding the, uh, um, the consequences. Relationships is tough, man. Fucking is easy. But relationships is tough, man. Every woman you have sex with is a potential baby mom or potential baby father, man. I want y'all to get this game, man. As I, I mean, you know, as the big homie give you this game, man. Every, every Everybody that you have sex with is, 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 is a potential mate, man. We need more relationships in the black community. We need more sacrifice and commitments. Commitment, commitments is something that's serious, man. Listen, a lot of y'all go to school. A lot of y'all, uh, 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 you know, get education and you committed to that you won't commit to a relationship. You're not willing to sacrifice. The minute he say something to get on your nerves or she say something to get on your nerves, you ready to go. You go down to that goddamn gym and you start sleeping with somebody at the gym. You start fucking somebody over at the job. He get caught cheating, you wanna leave. This is just a whole bunch of, nobody wants to put in the work to the point where you say, man, we've been through a lot in 10 years, but we still standing. We still here, man. And we better people for it. Our children are benefiting from it. Man, my son can walk in the room and see a mom and a dad together. When none of his friends can see that, but my son can see it because of the sacrifice and commitment that me and my wife was willing to make. We gotta get to the point where, 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 where we're willing to think of things outside of ourselves and stop being so selfish because our children is paying a price. And then we're creating a, 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 a cycle that just keeps going on and on and on because we're normalizing this in the, in the mindset of our children. Our daughters think it's cool to be a single mom because they never had a father in the house. Our sons think it's cool to just be, to just have a bunch of kids because daddy got a bunch of kids. We normalize this stuff, man. And every day I'm gonna make videos about family to keep driving this point home. I don't even care if my channel ever blow up, but I know that I gotta tell the truth, man. I gotta keep telling the truth over and over again because as much as y'all have this gender war stuff going on, y'all still have sex with each other. The black woman say the black man is inconsistent, the black man ain't shit, but she still fuck black men every guy all the time. The black man say the black woman ain't this, the black woman ain't this, but you still fucking black women because you having sex with people that's in your proximity. So we might as well just stop this nonsense, man, and commit to each other, man.
We gotta commit to each other. So I'm, a, I'm, I'm at 10 minutes. I'm gonna cut this short. I'm gonna do a part two to this, man. I'm gonna cut this one short. But man, listen, man. I'm a man that's been married for a long time, man. I show and prove. I show my family. I'm telling you, it's not easy. It's a fight every day. Marriage is not something that's promised to you like life or death. It's something, it's something that you gotta fight for, man. Every day, you gotta fight for it, man. But my children, it's worth it, man. Me instilling these values in my son and my daughter is worth it. So look forward to part two, man. I'll see y'all later. Peace.